Hi, my name is Gary Phillips. I'm one of the admissions coaches that works with WVU online. I'm a WVU graduate myself, first generation college student. When I got to WVU, I found out that I really enjoyed helping people navigate the administration and the procedures that the university had in place. So I made it my career. For the last 10 years or so, I've been working in housing and residence life across the country. And I'm thrilled to be back at WVU helping people to find the right program for them and be part of the WVU community. My favorite thing about being a mountaineer is being part of the mountaineer community. And that's been true since the first time I went to a WVU football game when I was a little kid. Um, since then, I've gotten to be involved in a lot of different aspects of the university. And it has always amazed me how many people there are in the different offices, in the different department, departments that really care about the students. And I'm happy to be a part of that. I'm really happy to be in a position where I can hear students and prospective students' stories. When you call into the WVU online call center or you respond to one of our emails where we reach out to you, we really do wanna hear what's going on with you so that we can help you make the best decisions. Um, I work um, with individuals interested in the programs from the College of Education and Human Services, the Benjamin M. Statler College of Engineering and Mineral Resources, and the Davis College of Agricultural Natural Resources and Design. So something WVU Online wants to do is create that sense of community and continuity um, that can be difficult to achieve through online courses. So that's where the admissions coaches come in. We're not just here to talk about the admissions process. We also wanna stay in touch with you throughout your academic career making sure that you know who to talk to. You have someone specific who will answer questions related to your circumstances. Um, we're not advisors, um, but we are here to just kind of help people navigate the system. Probably my favorite hobby is running, uh, especially long distance running. I'm not fast by any stretch of the imagination, um, but what I am good at is just keeping putting one foot in front of the other. Um, so I've liked to do some marathons, ultra runs. Uh, a few years ago, I ran a Ragnar relay, which is 100 miles down the Wasatch Front in Utah. Um, I like being outdoors, so that's a good opportunity to do that. I also really like reading and writing. Uh, I'm a big science fiction and fantasy nerd. Um, you know, I grew up on the Chronicles of Narnia, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, all that stuff. Um, that really like sinks its teeth into a little kid um, and gets you excited about hearing, telling, and reading stories as you grow up. So that's what I like to do. I love running marathons because it, it's really more about the mental game than like the physical game. Like, you have to be physically prepared to do it, but really it's just about keeping moving. Um, and the things that we have access to now make it so much easier, really, in my mind, because I can be. 14 or 15 miles into a race and uh, send videos or pictures to all my friends and family of all the awful faces that I'm making at that point in the race. Um, the Utah race I did was really fun because um, it was not exactly a cross country race, but it didn't really go through towns. It went along a lot of mountain ridges through a lot of back roads. Um, and it was an annual event, so people would set up um, lemonade stands and cinnamon bun stands for the runners along the route. And you'd just run a stretch of it at a time. So you'd run four or five, six miles, and you'd be off for about six hours. And then you might run another two miles or eight miles or 10 miles, um, and then be off another six or seven hours and do one more stretch like that. And your team would move through the entire course that way from uh, Logan, Utah, down to I think it might have been Ogden, Utah, along the mountains. It was a great trail. I think something I learned as a first generation college student and I have seen be true for, for people again and again, uh, especially if they might be coming back to school after a long absence to do graduate work, is you don't always know what you don't know. Um, so we want you to ask questions. If you're not sure how to go about something, ask us and we'll explain it to you in as much detail as it takes for you to be comfortable with it because it does involve a lot of communication. Um, 
either via email, via Zoom, via Teams, whatever it is that you're working with to have that online classroom experience, we want you to be comfortable with it. So we're here to, to help you out, make sure you know what to do, where to go, who to talk to. Um, if you're ever unsure about anything, if you're ever nervous about anything, just ask.